And leading local today, North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer says his son was involved in a crash that killed a Mercer County Sheriff's deputy. Police say it happened yesterday around 530 in the evening, five miles west of Hazen on Highway 200. KX News' Joel Porter, Porter joins us live from Beulah right now. Joel, what have you found out? Good afternoon, Kiara. That's right. I'm live here in Beulah. This is where I'm told that Deputy Paul Martin lived for several years. This is just a terrible day for Mercer County Sheriff Terry Turnus, as well as his entire team of deputies. And as we've reported earlier in the day, this all began as an incident in a hospital in Bismarck when investigators say that uh, Ian Kramer stole an SUV and took off. In a statement from Senator Kramer, he says, his wife was taking their son to the hot emergency room in Bismarck when she got out of the vehicle and Ian jumped into the driver's seat and fled. Investigators say they tracked Kramer's cell phone where Mercer County deputies tried approaching and talking with Ian and Hazen. They say that's when a pursuit happened. Deputy Martin was outside his vehicle preparing to throw out spike strips to stop the vehicle. The North Dakota Highway Patrol says that um, Kramer actually struck Martin's vehicle. The vehicle then slammed into him, killing him. And Ian Kramer was then arrested and booked into the McLean County Jail in Washburn. And he is expected to be charged and appear in Mercer County Court tomorrow. I did stop by the Mercer County Sheriff's Office as well as the state's attorney's office this afternoon, hoping to speak with um, both Sheriff Turnus and the prosecutor, but neither Sheriff Turnus nor prosecutor Todd Schwartz were available to speak with me just yet. I am told that deputies and law enforcement gathered for a procession and a ceremony earlier today. Reporting live in Beulah, Joel Porter for KX News. Thank you for that live report, Joel. Ian is now charged with four felonies, one being manslaughter, a Class B felony, and his initial appearance is set to happen tomorrow at 1.30. Governor Doug Burgum has asked for flags to be moved to half staff in honor of Deputy Martin, who is an 18-year veteran with the Mercer County Sheriff's Office. You can find Senator Kramer's full statement and more updates about the incident on KXNet.com.